What's going on guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to your daily news report for Sunday, August 7th. So here's what's happening right now and this is honestly terrifying because we are now getting more and more reports about what is happening due to Nancy Pelosi visiting Taiwan. Now, somebody asked me the question, how bad would a Taiwan-China conflict be for us here in the United States? Well, let's take a look at this because honestly, this is terrifying and most people don't know why. Everyone keeps on asking, well, I don't live in Taiwan. I don't live in China. I live in the United States. How are we really gonna be impacted? China's not gonna send a missile over to us. No, they won't, but they can impact us. And here's how. First off, Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. That started this entire thing, but that, okay, technically the, that's not what started all this. What started all this is the United States and, and government officials have been making statements for the past uh, probably six years, even with uh, you know former President Donald Trump, really, is kind of where it all started, was we were not going to send all of our resources over to China. We were not going to use China as a way to uh, you know do everything that we need here in the United States. We need to produce more here, locally. That created issues. And then the fact that we are now supportive of Taiwan, even though we are our actions say we're supportive of Taiwan, but when we come out and actually talk and government officials speak, they are supportive of China. So again, China's not happy with this. But with Nancy Pelosi visiting Taiwan, this is a huge deal because we have known for quite some time that China wants to invade Taiwan and they're just waiting for the right time. They want to invade and take over just like Russia has done slowly with Ukraine. Well, the fact that the number three person in line for the presidency here in the United States, Nancy Pelosi, she decided to go to Taiwan and show her support this doesn't bode well with China. This is why as soon as Nancy Pelosi left Taiwan, China announced that they would actually start special military drills in the Taiwan Strait. And since then, they actually have been sending uh, live missiles encircling Taiwan. Now, what does this mean and why would China do this other than the fact that it makes Taiwan nervous? Well, it actually does a couple of things. I wanna show you something. Look at this right here. This right here, this is the Taiwan Strait or Strait of Taiwan right here. Now, right here, uh, we get about, well, uh, for global trade, there's about $3.37 trillion in goods that makes their way through the uh, Taiwan Strait each year. And by sending missiles into the Taiwan Strait and encircling Taiwan, okay, because what's happening is there is, um, there are, I believe they're sending missiles here. I believe they're sending missiles right here. And there's a big spot down here. They're sending missiles. So what happens is by sending missiles into the Taiwan Strait and even encircling Taiwan, what happens is cargo ships will have to be rerouted, clear out, clear over here, right? They, they don't wanna even be close to Taiwan. They have to be rerouted. This is actually gonna make it a little more costly. It's gonna be, uh, take more time, right? And so it's not just the United States that's gonna be impacted, it's going to be the entire world. So when it comes down to, oh, is, you know, are certain countries going to back the United States or are they going to back China? Well, this is one way that China could actually influence their decision is because if they are seeing that their economy is hurting because of the United States decision of having Nancy Pelosi visit, well, they could side with China. At least that's the expectation. So we'll see what happens there. But Experts already anticipate that cargo is going to take a hit because of these short military actions and short military exercises. But if these special military exercises continue for quite some time, it could be a huge impact on the United States and it would likely, we would likely see our shelves inside stores somewhat bare or uh, more empty than they are currently. So again, it's not great news. And I, and I just talked about this, uh, what was it, last night? I just talked about how 
um, you know, we are seeing stores are almost uh, faking that they're full of inventory. So again, it's a crazy situation that we're in, but if we start seeing this with actual you know, physical goods and not uh, grocery products and food, that's pretty scary as well. Because again, a lot of these things we do need. And a lot of these things that we get from, that come through the uh, Taiwan Strait are things that we use on an everyday basis. So it's a very important part of the country. Now, what else is gonna happen? Well, uh, we actually learned on, uh, I believe it was Friday, that China has halted its relations with the United States on many issues. China, they actually uh, you know, cut their ties, uh, pretty much for their military ties, and put them on hold, right? So that's not great news there. So we'll see what happens with that. We also know that the talks of, of climate change, this is gonna be on hold, okay? That's something that we, you know, we knew these were things that could potentially happen. And also, China decided that they want to sanction Nancy Pelosi and her family, saying that it uh, constituted a gross interference in China's internal affairs. So, that's interesting. They also go on to say, and I quote, it gravely undermines China's sovereignty and territorial integrity, seriously tramples uh, on the one China principle and severely threatens peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Yeah, it does threaten peace and stability when we are seeing China you know, launch missiles into the Taiwan Strait. That obviously plays a huge role. But again, this is, this is somewhat terrifying. And it's not terrifying because, you know, our shelves might be empty. It's terrifying because for the longest time we have known China wants to invade Taiwan, and take it over, right? But the United States is, is pretty much saying like, no, you know, you can't do that. We do support, you know, Taiwan as well. We do support the one China policy, but we do support Taiwan as well. Again, the, the actions and the words that come out of government officials' mouths and what they do, this is what is causing a lot of conflict. But the reason why this is terrifying is because what happens when two world powers, the United States and China, decide, you know what, we have to you know, fight for what we believe in. We can't show that we're, we're weak. That's exactly what China did. China di didn't want to show that they were weak and just let Nancy Pelosi and go and visit Taiwan. So what do they do? They sanction her. Yeah, it still shows a little bit of weakness, but you know, not, not entirely. The United States didn't want to show their weakness. And when China uh, pretty much told the United States and Nancy Pelosi, do not come to Taiwan, she did anyway. Because the United States didn't want to be like, or look somewhat weak uh, in China's eyes. Because I can tell you right now, the United States did look kind of weak when it came down to Russia invading uh, Ukraine. So we're gonna see what happens moving forward. But again, this is somewhat interesting to see what is going on. But I can tell you right now, here in the United States, we will be impacted the longer this goes on. So as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates again. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.